Australian traveling with family arrested for illegal gun possession boarding a Koh Samui flight. 41-year-old man's brother Mick Basal was killed in a shooting in Sydney at a signage firm in a suburb of the city in 2016. Police in Koh Samui said on Wednesday that they did not think the gun was purchased to commit a crime in Thailand nor had the arrested man a criminal background. An Australian man was arrested on Wednesday as he tried to board a plane flight on Koh Samui with a handgun and 96 rounds of ammunition. He told police he had bought the gun at a local shop on the island. The tourist, on holidays with his family, said he purchased the firearm for self-protection while traveling. Mark Basal was previously involved in a shooting in the Ingleburn area of Sydney in March 2016 when his brother was gunned down in a hail of gunfire over a business dispute. Right, officers with the Royal Thai Police at Boffat Police Station in Koh Samui where legal proceedings are being processed against 41-year-old Mark Basal after an illegal handgun was found in his luggage on Wednesday. He was in the process of boarding a flight from Koh Samui to Suvarnabhumi Airport with his family. Left, his older brother Michael Basal who was killed in a hail of bullets in a business dispute that went awry in the Ingleburn suburb of Sydney. An Australian tourist was arrested at the main airport in Koh Samui as he tried to board a flight to Suvarnabhumi Airport with a handgun and ammunition concealed in his baggage. 41-year-old Mark Basal was taken into custody at 1 p.m. on Wednesday according to a briefing given on Thursday by Police Colonel Suparuk Fankasal, the Immigration Bureau Chief and Sarathani. X-rays alerted officials at Koh Samui Airport to the handgun and 96 rounds of ammunition in the tourist's check-in baggage before his arrest by police. Police officers at the facility in the Boffet area of Koh Samui were alerted by x-rays of Mr. Basal's luggage which showed the gun broken into pieces and ammunition spread across seven bags checked in by the Australian tourist and his family who are visiting Thailand on holiday. Mr. Basal is accompanied on his trip to Thailand by his wife and three children. After the discovery was verified by a search of the Australian national's luggage he was charged with illegal possession of a firearm and ammunition in Thailand. The gun and ammunition were also seized by authorities. The Australian, when questioned by investigators, revealed that he had purchased the gun from a shop in the Boffet area of Koh Samui. He said he purchased the weapon to use in self-defense while traveling. Basal said family were on their way home to Australia via Singapore yet had no onward flights booked. The Australian, believed to be from Sydney, New South Wales, also told police that the family planned to travel from Bangkok to Singapore and from there back to Australia but they had not yet booked their onward flights. He has been transferred to Boffet Police Station where he is being held as legal proceedings are processed against him. Police are understood to be satisfied that Mr. Basal did not purchase the firearm to commit an offence in Thailand nor did he appear to have a criminal background or be linked to transnational crime. Mr. Basal and his family were involved in a high-profile shooting in the Ingleburn suburb of Sydney in March 2016, six and a half years ago. Arrested man was injured in March 2016 when his older brother was gunned down in the Ingleburn suburb of Sydney in a business dispute over signage. The then 34-year-old Basal was wounded when he entered a signage business on Monday 9 March 2016 in a bid to settle a dispute over a $40,000 refund demanded by his brother from the business. They were attacked by then 33-year-old Wayne Williams with a hail of gunfire from an SKS assault rifle which left Mr. Basal's old brother Michael or Mick Basal dead and his other brother Terry Basal also injured. The assailant then went upstairs and shot himself. The refund was linked to a sign ordered by Mick Basal for his construction business and the meeting had been called to address the dispute. That meeting was organized after a number of requests as to the status of the signage, and then for a return of money already paid family lawyer Richard Mitry told the press at the time. We understand that, as they arrived at the premises, they were immediately shot at and Michael Basal died almost instantaneously.